On this video, I'm going to start tackling this exhaust manifold once again for a turbo I don't own. Enjoy. What the hell is that thing? So I was thinking last night um, that I really need to get a flange cut for this um, manifold. But then it dawned on me, I already have one. It's still attached to the factory exhaust manifold. So what I want to do is cut right the way down through here, keep this piece and get rid of all of this. It's not the prettiest thing, but hey, it works and it saves me a lot of work. Should do the job nice. Well, she's cut off now. To be honest, it wasn't one of my finest cuts. No drama though, I just sand all these flush. But the good thing is, I now have a round port here where this side's rectangle. So that there alone has saved me a shit ton of work. Um, I do have this ugly thing on here. I think this is for the factory air pump. I put my um, plate on there a while ago, actually. I don't know if I wanna looking to cut these out or it doesn't really matter it's blanked off it just sits there should be all right okay she's cleaned up somewhat just got it sitting back on this um engine again by the way this isn't a dummy block um we just haven't got around to rebuilding it just yet there is no rotors in there at the moment it was just a mock-up for the front cover and the sump but there we have it it's a that's as bad as good as I can, I can get it, but um, it doesn't need to be much more than this. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to build something that bends out that way, runs this way through the through the bracket, and then runs up to about here somewhere, and then I'm going to V-band it and just leave it at that until the engine's back in the car and I have a turbo for it. Then I can size up the rest and sit the turbo where it needs to be and put braces back to the block if I have to. So at this point just to here i should have some beans these are uh, 42 nominal bore um steam pipe beans so i'll dig those out now and have a look wrong dug these out they're all 32 nominal bore it just just a bit too small so i need to get the size up from that and to make things worse i found my v-band it's too big so yeah my luck so right now I'm in two frames of mind. I don't know if I run, obviously these, yeah, these aren't the right size. I don't know if I run these individually into a collector, say over here somewhere, or I do how the exhaust was factory and have these collected into one pipe running across here. Doing it that way will be a lot easier. Um, but then again, the next question I have is how big does this pipe need to be to flow into the turbo? I'm guessing two and a half but um we'll see what i can get my hands on well it's been a few days now um picked up what i needed from steel and tube um got all the beans i need these were full beans so i just cleaned them up and notched them out like that on the liner shirt uh two of those so i am going to run this pipe here i'm not going to run individual runners if you want i'm just going to one bar uh one tube collect it up over here somewhere with this 90 something like that and we should be good to go best thing is this pipe here is a two and a half inch internal diameter which isn't too big and with my three inch v-band that fits on there mint as so i just blaze around there and then later on down the line i'll just carry on from this point all right i'm gonna get into it So 
but this is what I had in mind here. These have just got some slight curve in it, so hopefully the exhaust wants to direct that way. And off of this last one here, it's just going to be a pipe there. I'll obviously fill this little gap up there. So it should work all right. This does look excessive, but it should be all right. And I suppose... Oh, no. Hang on a sec. Well, first hurdle. She don't fit. Yeah, it's quite a big gap there. So I'm going to have to suck that in. That's that's a good 20 mil. I might have to go even, fit, uh, even more in because, um, well, I just don't want it hard against the engine bracket. Oh, that sucks. Anyway, I do have, I can afford to lose some meat out of here. That's just gonna be a sharper, um, sharper point there. I do, this is sitting off there about five mil, but that's not gonna make much difference. Oh, cut, cut, I guess. So I've just gone to mark my 25 mil here. So I'm gonna have to cut through there and there. It's not gonna leave much there, but on a side note, when I had this bend here, the gap from there to there I measured was 25 mil. So I won't need a spacer now, I guess, but yeah, dumb. Well, there you are, round two. She fits in there. A little bit of room there now. Just sizing this up with this last bend. Just needs a little bit of finesse, and you can see that gap there, right there. But that will work. Yeah. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll now weld these to the flange. Mark these around here, around this point here. Then I've got to take this pipe off, open those holes up for those. Yeah, but, you know, pretty good. Cool. So got these welded down now and I've got these marked out. So this obviously is the outside of it. I just need to cut these slots into there. That one there joins onto here. So I'll get onto that now. I'm not gonna film it. It's gonna bore the living shit out of you. So, all right. All right, this is what I'm up to. Just got it all tacked together. Still got plenty of room. These have been opened up. So she's almost ready to go for the full weld. I'm gonna TIG as much as I can, but like this little bit here, MIG that, and I'm not gonna be able to get down to there very well, so I'll throw the MIG down there as well. I'm gonna cut the pipe here, slap this bend on. It's really hard to govern where I need it, but I'm guessing, well, my pulley sticks out about here, and you can get the engine in and out of the engine bay good with the pulley, so as long as I don't pass that point, so I'm thinking something like that, just pointing up the front here, and then that's where I'll put the V-band, and later on, it goes wherever it wants to. All right, bit of welding ahead. Well, she's all tacked up now. Uh, i got the V-band tacked on there as well. The only problem I'm thinking I may come across is once I join onto here to, hit a t to go into the turbo, is that gonna be seen too high? I need to go back through my photos because I can't actually remember how the RX-8 engine looks in the engine bay. I believe I'll have enough room to get it past power steering and whatnot, or in the engine bay with this. But um, I mean, worst case scenario, I can always alter this later on anyway. It's not a drama. Done. 
So she's all welded up. Doesn't look the prettiest, but doesn't have to. Um, she's all getting covered in um, exhaust wrap anyway. But I'll probably do that later on when I build whatever's gonna go on here. So I'll wait for this to cool down. I just have to die grind just a little bit in one of those there. Nothing major. And then I'll give it a blow. I'll give it a just a coat of sun paint. And then um, we'll call that one done for now. Awesome. Die grinding's all done. There wasn't much in there, to be honest. Um, all the runners are nice and smooth. Um, it's pretty good, actually. So I'll go ahead, get this paint on here. I've got some high heat, blah, blah, blah. I don't even know where this came from, but I'm going to use it. Get it all one color and then uh, go sit it on that block over there and we'll see, we, see how we're looking. Well, that looks somewhat better on there. Not too bad. I don't know what the cure time is on this. But, uh, oh yeah, touch dry in 15 minutes. Well, I'll give it 20 odd minutes or so. And then, yeah, it's about as far as I can go for now. But, um, no, I'm pretty happy with it. That looks a bit ugly. Oh, I missed a bit. Well, I think that looks all right. It's going to do the job. It all tucks in there nicely with that. Everything is where I want it. I uh, don't really like the colour, but as I said before, once she's wrapped, I mean, that's inconsequential to anything though, but I just noticed now with this mount how far that sticks out. So if we go, where are we there? That's 230 mil past, past the um, engine bracket. I just lifted the bonnet on the RX-8 now and wouldn't you know it, there's power steering down there or the the arm for it right here i don't know how much of that you can see so if i place you there somewhere okay i've got another engine bracket here i'm gonna say 230 mil I sit that roughly where that needs to be. Oh yeah, she's close. Hmm. Problem I might have is there's a bracket just down here. Uh, I might clash with that, but mind you, I should be I should be high enough. No, I don't think I will be. Anyway, we'll sort that out later on. No drama. I've got a grinder, so all should be good. But now that I've done uh, that with that manifold, well, now I've built the manifold going this way, I can now take this whole bloody exhaust off this bloody car. Don't need it now. So, yep, yeah, I can either go in the bin or whatever. I don't really care. Uh, so next couple of videos, I'll be concentrating on this. The RX-8 ones are done for now. Uh, reunion is reunion's coming up, as everyone knows. And I need to do a few little things to this, nothing major. Um, man, it's dirty. Just got to make sure she's a hundy. This, that engine is where I want it to be. Everything that I can think of that I needed to do before the engine was restacked is done. Um, so after reading, I should be able to rebuild that and then drop everything into the hole and then I should be okay. I should just have to build the top of that manifold, find a turbo, everything to do with the block is done essentially. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's all right. I will be taking these braces, these two here to reunion. So if anyone wants them, just come hit me up. Um, it's the rear one for the RX-8 and the front one. I was originally going to keep that one, but now that I'm going to have the exhaust probably sticking right up where, right about where this is, I'm going to have to make something else that won't fit anymore. So if anyone wants it, just hit me up. Um, yeah, besides that, thanks for watching. I'm quite happy with that. And yeah, next video will be on this car. Cheers. Well, should be bye bye exhaust. See there's, it can go. Done.